I bought a smartwatch for myself for Christmas. It was a mistake. Hey everyone, John here. And listen, I am not 100% disappointed with my iTouch Air from iTouch Wearables, but I will say this. The circumstances under which I bought this smartwatch led to me making a mistake. I'll get into that a little bit later, but for now, let's talk about this smartwatch. Let's talk about what it is and what it isn't. So this is the iTouch Air smartwatch from iTouch Wearables. It is a discontinued model. That right there might be a clue as to why I made a mistake buying this. It's a discontinued model and it's a very basic smartwatch. It has a sleep monitor. It provides notifications. You can see all that there on the side right there. Notifications. Um, it's got a pedometer. Now it says it's got a calorie tracker, but that's only based on the steps that you take. It is water resistant. It's got a GPS. It's got a sedentary reminder and it's got weather features. It is missing a lot of things though. It's missing a heart rate monitor. It's missing a, a pulse oximeter. It's missing a lot of things that I was really looking for in a smartwatch. In addition to that, it also has a few features and the interface is a little bit clunky. So let me talk a little bit more about the features that are on this. The battery, I, I cannot complain about the battery life. I charge this thing up. I can wear it for four or five days before I need to charge it again. And I mean like all day long. Sleep with it. I, I only take this off to take a shower and to charge it. So it does have a long lasting battery. It's got a stopwatch. It's got an alarm. When you flick your wrist, you know, you can see the, the, the display. It's got a find watch feature, got a music remote and a camera remote, which I've used a little bit, but not a lot. But really outside of that, there's not too much more that is a feature of this thing. And that being said, I've also found that the interface is really, really clunky. So there are three different um, watch faces, if you will. And what's interesting is one of them has is named custom but you can't customize it. Another thing that you you have to do a lot is you, you can swipe left or right with it or up and down, left and right to get to some of the other features and up and down to basically get back to the watch face. Some of the features of the device are stuck under the settings like the stopwatch. The stopwatch is under the settings. It's not one of the faces that you can get to. It's got a do not disturb the bright. It's got manual brightness settings. And really, that's about it. Another thing that's pretty disappointing about this watch is that there's no ambient light sensor. So when I go to bed at night, I have to make sure I go in to the settings, into the brightness settings, and um, lower the brightness so it's not so bright in the night. Like I said, the, the watch face that says custom is not actually customizable. Now, you have a number of choices of watch faces. There's this one here that I'm using. There's another one. And then this is the one that's defined as custom. You probably notice something that's missing from each of these. It doesn't have a weather output right on the screen. Instead, what you have to do is from the watch face, swipe one, two, one, two, three, three times, and you're at the weather. Um, and you can tap it and it'll give you tomorrow's weather. The other thing that's kind of weird about this is when you're in a particular setting, that's what comes back up on the watch face instead of the time. So for messages, one of the things you can see here is if somebody messages me that in, and it involves an emoji, it just comes up as a question mark because this can't display anything except for text and it displays a limited amount of text. So I can't read an entire message. 
it alerts me when my phone is ringing, but when I tap the screen, it doesn't answer the phone. Now I have paired this with both my iPhone XR and a Pixel 3, and it's pretty consistent as far as how it performs on each of the platforms. On none of the platforms does it display emojis or anything besides text. It's always a limited amount of text. And as far as syncing the data back and forth between the phone, it's gonna sync the same kind of data. Now I will say it has done a great job. Uh, I've enjoyed it. It's not always accurately recording my steps. But the thing to remember about this is that this is a first generation smartwatch from iTouch wearables. Now I would love to get my hands on one of their newer models that has all of these uh, heart rate sensors, blood pressure sensors, and all those kinds of things. But I don't have that. I really like this watch. I like the way it looks. I, you know, I like the color of the band. I like the rose gold or coppery look of the metal. It's a very nice looking watch. But let me talk to you about the circumstances under which I purchased this watch. So here's the deal. I was in a store. I'm not going to name the name of the store because it's, it doesn't really matter. I was in a store. Um, I'm in the checkout line and there was a really, you know, there was a display next to the checkout line that I was in. I saw this watch and it was a very good price. Can't, couldn't complain about the price. I'm not going to say what I got the price for because, you can, again, you cannot buy this particular model. So it's kind of pointless for me to mention the price. But let's just say it was, any, it was about 30% less than I had seen what I thought was a comparable smartwatch. So I picked it up for myself for Christmas, told the kids, hey, buy this for dad. You know, one of those things. You know how... You, if you're a parent, you know how that goes. And at first was very happy with it. I really uh, enjoyed using the watch. But then as I used it a little bit more, I really discovered the flaws in this watch and, and in the interface. So again, is this a good basic beginner smartwatch? Sure. But I think you would be better off with a Fitbit or something like that for the same price that I paid for this. And I think even with a Fitbit, you'd probably get more features as well. So can I recommend the iTouch Air from iTouch Wearables? Well, no. But if you find this for anywhere between $20 and $30, and you're just looking to have a smartwatch on your wrist that tracks your steps and you can have the weather available and will alert you when you get messages yeah sure but all the features that we look for in smartwatches these days are not in this so is it a bad smartwatch well when you think about how long ago it was made no but I think for today's standards this is a would be a substandard smartwatch Hey, my name is John Wilkerson, and I love doing these kind of tech reviews, and I hope that you enjoy them as well. If you want to see more content like this, there's a couple of things you can do. You can support me with your time, talent, and your treasure. How do you support me in those ways? Well, with your time, you can click the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share this video with someone else. With your talent, maybe you want to uh, let me know, uh, you know, maybe you do video production. Maybe you, maybe you can make me a little slide thing to go at the end of my videos. That would be talent. And your treasure, obviously, that's the money, right? You can support me by going to buymeacoffee.com slash John Wilkerson and throw me a few bucks to support this channel. Until next time, talk to you later. Bye.